Hey there, I'm Garrett from the Software Training Lab, and today we're going to go over the slip and slide tools in Adobe Premiere Pro. These two tools are nested together in the timeline toolbar. Click and hold on the tool to see both of them. First, I'm going to enlarge the track on my timeline and turn on tail and head thumbnails so we can see what the video clip is doing. To demonstrate what the slip tool does, first I'm going to double click on one of my clips in the timeline, which will pull it up into the source monitor. It will normally be cropped into the in and out selection that you originally made. Let's zoom out. I'm going to press the minus key, which lets us see the entire video clip. You can also drag the zoom handles beneath the time. Now in this screen, I can drag this selection in the middle to choose where my in and out points are going. The slip tool with the shortcut Y does this exact same process, but without having to open it up in the source monitor. For example, if I click and drag on this clip, you'll notice that the front and back frames are changing. I'm adjusting the selection that would be in the source monitor. This is helpful when you know that your clip needs to be a certain duration, but you want to change what content plays in that duration. Drag left and right on the clip and you'll see that our in and out selection shifts as well. While you're dragging, the program monitor in the top right will show you what the start frame and the end frame will be. Let's say that I want this to start blurry and end crisp. I can look to the left frame and see that it's already a little crisp. So I'll move forward until I can have a nice difference between the beginning and the end. There. Now, another tool that's a little simpler to understand is the slide tool with the keyboard shortcut U. The slide tool lets you drag any clip left and right, and it will adjust the ends of the surrounding clips without adjusting their duration. Let's say I want to adjust clip three in my timeline. If I move it left, the ends of clip one and four are both adjusted. Same thing happens if I move to the right. Great. Use the slip and slide tools to level up your editing workflow and make adjusting clips a little easier. In the next video, we'll talk about another advanced editing tool, the rolling edit tool.